Hello there guys, welcome to another Unreal Engine 4 tutorial. Uh, back again on the same day with another tutorial after I released my one earlier about level design. This time we're going to be taking a look at uh, particle effects. Um, I don't believe I've actually covered creation of a particle effect from beginning to end, so I'm going to do that all in this tutorial now. So I'm going to hop into my game, turn off my flashlight and just show you what I've got so far. So this is a very, very simple particle system. It's supposed to be fire, I know it doesn't look much like fire, but you know, you've got your, um, there's supposed to be like flame particles in there and there's supposed to be some smoke. Maybe I, maybe I need to tweak around with these settings, but the idea is there and it also emits light. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and take a look at how we're going to create one of those. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and delete mine. This is the first time I've done it. So deleting this might mean I've not got a point of reference. Actually, so I'm going to leave that up. I'm going to leave it up. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and make it anyway. So the first thing we're going to want to do is make one or two sprites. So depending on what you're doing. Um, and for this, I've chosen to use Photoshop. You can use GIMP if you, if you don't want to purchase Photoshop. Um, what you're going to, going to, what you're going to want to do is go ahead and create yourself a blank slate. Now this is going to need to be a, um, oh, what do you call it? A PNG? Cause it needs to have some translucency to it. So I'm going to wipe this off in Photoshop so that it's now translucent. And let's go ahead and make some green fire. Let's do it. Let's do green fire. So for my fire particle, you know, I'm going to do a splidge of green. Uh, just get rid of that one down there. Smoothen up the edges a little bit. Um, and let's put another splash of green in the middle there. Just, you know, make it a bit more toned. Okay, like that. So it looks awful. This is where you can spend more detail doing yours, but for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to go ahead and speed through this. So we're going to call this green fire. And we're going to go ahead and save that. Okay, um, that's that side of it done. So we're going to go ahead and I'm just going to make a new folder in here and name this uh, tutorial so I can delete all this at the end. And inside tutorial, we're going to need to import our green fire. And we're going to want to make a material out of it. So we're going to right click it and create a material. And we're going to leave that as green fire mat. Open that up. Uh, let me just drag that over here onto this screen. Um, okay, fantastic. So we're going to want to select this here, which is the material, and change it from surface to, oh, sorry, rather from blend mode to, from blend mode opaque to blend mode translucent. You then want to hook up the uh, texture sample here into the opacity. So that goes into text, that bit, sorry. This goes into base color and the opacity down here comes into the opacity. So you can see now that that becomes partly translucent and we've got our green fire on the front. So I'm going to go ahead and save that material. That's that done. Simple. Okay. Wait for that to save. And I can close out of that now. Now, to create the particle system, the reason you're here, you're going to want to right click and create a new basic asset, a particle system. I'm going to name this Fell Flame. Open that up. Again, I'm going to just going to drag it over here onto this screen. And you, this is what you'll be presented with. Now, this is, these are all the things that you can add to your particle emitter. Um, they can, you can have it have collision, change its color, kill it when it reaches certain height. You know, play around with these, read the documentation on the Real Engine 4 website. You will really thank yourself when you start to understand this. I really don't, I'm really just dabbling in this, but I know that for this one week game challenge, I'm really going to need to use a lot of particle effects for stuff like my spells. I want attacks so that blood spurts out when you hit an enemy, that kind of thing, you know, uh, for explosions. So these, this is really going to be really somewhere that I'm going to be developing myself over the next week when I work on this project. Anyway, back to the tutorial. Let's take a look now at the required section. So we're given a particle that we require. And if you remember, we've just made a fell flame material. So we're going to go ahead. Oops. Rather, rather we called it green fire, but you know, same thing. There you go. Just give that a second to load in. Um, and it's going to need to take a second while it compiles the shaders for that. As you can see there, they're pretty blank at the minute, but we just need to wait for it to load in. There we go. So we have some kind of green fell flame. It looks like something really retro, in my opinion. You know, something like out of a really old game that kind of like has really bad 8-bit graphics or, you know, whatever. But there you go. That's my fell flame. If you're building an 8-bit game, hurrah, you're already done with your flames. So we're going to go ahead and tweak some things, such as the initial... You can tweak the initial size, so the start size. You can have them, you know, maybe start massive some of them um 
that didn't quite work where am I looking now so let's set that to 300 300 300 300 300 300 300 as you can see there now they've blown up huge so we're just gonna reset those all back to 25 but the idea here is that you can open these settings play around with these and you will notice a change on the uh, actual particle effect and that way you know you can kind of see what's going on and you can get to grips with that so I'm, I want to look at take a look at the initial velocity so for me this flame is going up too straight so we want to spread it out so I'm going to change minus 10 to minus 20 and from 10 to 20 and again on the y-axis to 20 and minus 20. This gives it a wider range. So before it could only go from 10 to minus 10, so a range of 20. This now has a range of 40, and you'll notice that the fire is now spreading out quite a bit more. I also want to reduce the height that the flame can go to, because it's going quite high. So I'm going to bring the Z down to 50, the Z axis, and set it to 25. So you see it's a lot shorter now, the flame's a bit more spread out. Um, actually, let's up this a little bit to 6. This is a bit of, bit of Thing in there. Now the really cool bit that I that I want to work on now is light. So if I just pop back into my game, switch over to lit, you'll see that it actually casts a light, a pulsating light, you know, on the corridor. I give it that fiery feel, you know, it feels some kind of warmth off that. So we're going to go ahead and pop back into this and add a light. Now, I'm, now what I like to do is just pop one of my emitters into the game. Um, and if you change it over here, if I change something, so let's say I change my, uh, let's just see, it's hard to just adjust these windows. Um, let's just uh, change my color to very red. You know, if you change it over here, you'll be able to see it changing over there. Um, so the color, R, G, B. I don't know why it says X, Y, Z, but think of X as R, G as green, or Y as G rather, and Z as B. So we're doing a green flame. So I want to put 10 in the green. That's a bit too bright, so we'll put that at five. Um, okay, it's still quite bright, but what I want to do is see the, the spawn fraction here is how many particles it will spawn on. So if I spawn 50 particles a second, it's going to put lights on 50 of those every second. So I'm going to bring this down to something like 0 0.3, so it only puts on a third of them. You'll notice now, I'm going to actually just drag it away from there so we can see it uh, away from those red flames. Put it down in here somewhere you will notice now that we get a kind of flickering effect because not all of the particles have it. So when it spawns with with lots of it on, we get a very uh, bright green. And when it spawns with few of it on, we get a very dull green. Um, now, the other things that you're going to want to change on here for the light to work well is you're going to want to uh, affect translucency. So now that we can, we can see the green particles now. Um, and that would be a basic fell flame emitter in my opinion you know you the sprites are really what you're going to say is letting this down um but they they are totally up to you totally up to your photoshop skills totally up to you know how how you want to to do those but this is a very very simple basic introduction to particle systems and honestly the best thing i can say for this and with anything in unreal engine 4 is to just play with it just break things you've always got controls that if you break something just make a blank project if you're that bothered about it go and try build a particle system play with the particle emitter um, and see what you can do with it um, i mean you can change the spawn rate so we spawn loads of them that's quite intense but you know like it, it the idea behind this really is for you guys just to go and break it just to take the knowledge that i've given you right now go ahead apply it yourselves and have a little play around with it and see what you can make with that um, and on that note, I'm going to leave the tutorial there. I'm going to leave the particle emitter system in your hands and let you guys go ahead, go out there and create your own particle system. So as always, guys, please stay subscribed to the channel for upcoming content. Please stay tuned for the upcoming seven day game challenge. In fact, later on tonight, I will be posting a video about my progress from today. Uh, since you're watching this video, I will go ahead and I will give you a quick sneak peek in wireframe. So this is the map. Basically, this love the first level is this. Um, and I'll go into more details later on. So, spoilers. Yeah. Anyway, guys, thanks very much. Please leave the video a like. Please leave in com the comments in the description for anything else you'd like to see. If you're liking this new format of me doing a game challenge and simultaneously recording tutorials as I go along, then just leave a comment in the comment section below just saying, hey, I like this. Do this more often. So, and I will do. Um, yeah. Thanks, guys. Um, yeah, man, <laughs> I've done my outro and I got it in my head that I needed to say something else. So I said like the video, I told you guys to your comment, and I've said subscribe. That's it. That's the end of my video. Thanks. Good night.